Parliamentary representative for the Rosso Central constituency, Norris Prevo, has accused the Speaker of the House of Assembly, Alex Boyd Nights, of pushing the fight for a one party state in Dominica. Prevo is the only member of the United Workers' Party who took the oath of allegiance since the December 18, 2009 general elections, while the other two members boycotted Parliament. But Mr. Prevo says a failure by the Speaker of the House of Assembly to accept a letter of absence from the two other members is indication that she is pushing for a one-party state. I think, I mean, whilst it is not clear, it is not automatic that there will be by-elections. Why is it not automatic that there will be by-elections? Because two of our members have missed three sittings of the House. It is important to note that it was in the hands of the Speaker of the House not to put the country in that position because the Speaker was informed of the inability of the two members to attend and the Speaker has the power she could have excused them or not excused them. Understand this, the power this morning was in the hands of the Speaker to push Dominica closer to by-elections, mm -hmm. push the fight for the one-party state, or to pull back and allow Dominica's democracy to begin to come back by excusing the two members. So we have to understand who is pushing for by-election. And the reason why we all understand it is an ambition that exists within this present government to have a one-party state in Dominica. And Dominicans cannot sit by and allow this. Parliamentary representative for the Rosso Central constituency, Norris Prevo. Police are investigating an attempted robbery that occurred at the National Petroleum Filling Station in Kinfield on Saturday night. According to reports, two masked men armed with firearms escaped on a black scooter after their attempt to rob the station at around 8 p.m. Reports indicate that while the driver of the scooter waited at the pumps, his pinion rider proceeded to the checkpoint area where he held the cashier at gunpoint and demanded that she hand over the money from the draw. However, the attempted robbery was foiled when another attendant on duty walked in on the scene and started screaming. The frightened assailant fled the scene, boarded the awaiting scooter and they both made good their escape. Fortunately, no one was injured nor was any money stolen. The security guard, attendants on duty and the persons in the area were unable to identify the registration number of the scooter or assailants since they were hooded and wearing helmets. The Dominica Association of Persons Living with Disabilities will this morning officially launch its month of activities. Executive Director of the DAPD, Nathalie Murphy, says the month of activities will be officially launched at the Association's office in Goodwill from 11 this morning. The Dominica Association of Persons with Disabilities, Incorporated, will be observing the month of May as Blind Awareness Month. Um, last year, we reintroduced that project as part of our programming and then continuing again this year and we have some specific objectives for this year's activity. Among them are to promote site preservation and the need to eliminate avoidable blindness, to create a greater awareness of visual impairments and persons living with this disability, to, to assist persons with impaired vision to become as functionally independent as possible and to expose the creative abilities of persons with impaired vision. Murphy says a number of activities have been crowded for this month's observance. And we will be continuing with our radio programs, our television programs hopefully, and um, fundraising activities as well. On May 15th we will be having what we, we, adu we have dubbed the Dinner in the Dark, where it will also be an educational exercise for persons wanting to know how persons who are blind and visually impaired um, dine and eat their meals. That will be part of the whole um, fundraising activity at the Fortune Hotel. This will be under the patronage of His Excellency, the President of Dominica, uh, Nicholas Liverpool and Mrs. Liverpool. We are also planning uh, an educational variety concert 
on uh, May 22nd at the Caribantic in Scotshead, and we are inviting persons to participate in this as well. Uh, we also are hoping to to have a blind or a white cane demonstration, and we are looking to have that in Portsmouth, hopefully. But um, we will continue as well with um, other activities to include visits to schools. We will be talking to some of the students on blind blindness, and um, generally uh, the program will be directed at the public so that, as I said, they will understand the importance of preserving the site and to um, avoid blindness as much as possible. Executive Director of the DAPD, Nathalie Murphy. Local hotel owner and dive operator Derek Perryman has died. Reports indicate that Perryman died on Saturday morning at the Princess Margaret Hospital after sustaining a heart attack. Perryman was the owner and manager of Castle Comfort Lodge and Dive Dominica. The well-known businessman who has been credited with developing Dominica's diving and whale watching industries operated both businesses for the last 20 years. The Discover Dominica Authority, in collaboration with the Dominica Hotel and the Tourism Association and the Ministry of Tourism, are celebrating Tourism Awareness Month in May. A number of activities have been planned in that regard. This month's activities are being held under the theme, Tourism is Everybody's Business. Let's play our part. The objective of the month-long celebration is to increase public awareness of the tourism and hospitality industries, economic, cultural and social contributions to Dominica. A number of individuals and organizations who have made a contribution towards tourism development in Dominica will be recognized under the month's calendar of activities. Sports Minister Justina Charles has commended members of the Dominica Basketball Association for their need to bring new energy to basketball at a national level. She made the remarks at the opening of the 2010 National Basketball League. Charles says sports play an important role in the development of individuals and the nation. Today we see teams from various communities across the island coming together to participate in a league. The sport of basketball provides one with a unique opportunity to observe how a small group of persons can work together to achieve a common goal. Getting this one ball from an area to the point of scoring requires a combination of efforts, a feat which requires the involvement of all players. Let me also remind you that this team spirit must move beyond your small team and must be reflected among the various teams participating in the league. And this, as this now becomes a family of basketball players, out of which will emerge our national, regional and international players. Your effort in working as a team will not only make your individual team stronger, but you will be ensuring that the basketball teams and the association will gain recognition and support that is required for its survival. Another factor that is of much concern as one participates in sporting activity is that of discipline. Discipline in all aspects of life determines your outcome. As players and persons involved in other engagements, punctuality is of equal importance for matches and for practice sessions. Sports Minister Justina Charles, meantime president of the Dominica Amateur Basketball Association, Dave Barron, says his organization will continue to seek funding for expansion of uh, assistance to provide coaching and training necessary to take basketball players to the next level. We are grateful to organizations like the Dominica Olympic Committee who continue to provide funding to train our coaches and our referees and of course our athletes and provide assistance in the purchasing of equipment. This year we have a number of teams registered and thus we are expecting a very competitive and keenly contested league. And when the dust settles, the teams that have taken their practices and games seriously and have maintained respect for themselves, their coaches, officials and yes, their sponsors will emerge victorious.